Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to show you how you can use numbered lists and how you can create your own list. So first of all, at the top there, you've got numbered list and then you've got this option, multi-level list. So I'm gonna use this first one. I'm just gonna click in there and it comes up with a default number. You type, you press enter, you get a second number. Type again, you press enter, third number. If you press tab, it automatically goes or defaults to a multi-leveled list. And what you need to watch when you're doing this list is how the indent is sitting on the, on the ruler there. So there's a body where the text is gonna go. If I type my name again there, you can see that's where it is. So you've got the indent there. If you haven't got the ruler displayed, which is not by default, if you go to the view tab, you just tick the ruler on there and then you'll have it all the time. You don't have to keep doing that. Now, if I press enter and I want to go, I'll just type Steve again. I want to go back a line. I do shift tab, it comes back. If I want a space, I hold my shift key down, I press enter. And then if I press enter again, it will give me a number. I must type though, because if I want to knock this off, one, two, that knocks the list off and then it's just a straightforward sentence like that. So you've got to be careful when you're doing the gaps. Just get rid of all of that. Now you've got also this multi-leveled list. If I go in there, you can see these different options. So I'll choose this one and then same sort of style. If I type my name each time, you'll see how it works. Normally you would have two items before you do another indent, so I'll do, do it like that. And the same, the same procedure applies. When you do shift tab, shift tab again, it goes back to a, a main number. You can also use the indent buttons at the top there if you're not too keen on using the tab key. Now, if I go into this list, if I just delete this off again, there are other options in there, as you saw, like so, all of these different options. You've got these features at the bottom there where you can define new list level. You've got to be careful on this because you're changing the indents perhaps and the alignment, but you've got to then make sure it all marries up. Now, you can do it by clicking set all levels, set for all, so you'd make a change, set for all levels, and then that will set it for all levels. Otherwise you're doing it manually for each, each line, each level. It's totally up to you how you do that, but that's how you can do it. Another way that you could do it is you could create a style. So if I just go for this numbered list, I'll just crop this down. And I'll pick that one again, recently used. So I'll just type Steve, press enter. Now at the moment, the indent is like that. So you've got the body there and the first line on the margin, which is, I, I like it like that. So I'm just going to press tab. And the second one is just coming a little bit. So this is quite, quite good. You've just got to check, press tab like that. And it's coming in just a small amount each time, nice and neat. It's not going right across the page, which some of them do. So you can basically go up to the style box, drop this little arrow down and create a style and just give it your name or a name and then Click OK, or if you want to modify it a bit more, you can. You can modify it so it's a paragraph style, list paragraph. You've got that option there. You've got down the bottom there, you can go into format and font, maybe. So this is picking up the default font on mine, which is OK. I'm happy with that. It's not bold, it's regular. 12 point, OK. Happy. Paragraph. If you go back into there, you've got paragraph options that you can have a look at. Zero, zero, this is picking the defaults. It's a hanging, that's part of a list option. It does a hanging indent, single line spacing. Now, when you first get Word, this is all different to this. That will be on multiple. I think it's 1.0, 1.6 or something. And there's always space before and after set for these paragraphs, which I don't personally like. So I've changed the default settings on mine. You can do that here for this list, or you can do it in this paragraph block, which you can get from in here and then set it as default, whichever way you want to do it. But I'm happy with that. I'm clicking OK, and I'm clicking OK to that. Now, 
if I want to have that away, I'll come back, I'll come back in front of it, should I say. It's, it'll start doing that number list, like so. It'll go down as far as that list goes down. Now, if I delete this off, get myself some blank text. So this is just a way of getting some blank text in Word. So I've got some paragraphs here. If I highlight the whole thing down the margin there, or if you can double click for a paragraph and triple click for a document, whichever way you want to do. If you then go and put um, a list on, so these lists, that's a recently used list, but I've got my style there, Steve one. So I'll click on that. And it's going to put the same list on there. I've got an extra number at the bottom, so I'll just delete that off. But let's see, see how this works. So now I want to move that in a little bit. So I want that to be A. I press my tab key. You should always have two items. So B, one A, one B. Now this is two. Let's say this is two A. And then the next paragraph, you're coming down. I press enter. It does a B. Steve, press enter. It does a C. Shift tab back up to a main paragraph. Now I didn't have any gaps here. If I wanted to make a gap, if I press enter, that's going to be a problem because it creates a number. I just do control Z undo. What I need to do is hold my shift key down and press enter, which will create the gap. And then that, that number is already there. I'm not affecting it. Pressing enter there creates a number. Control Z undo. Shift enter. So that's what I need to do to make the gaps. Shift enter. Now, if I was typing this out from scratch, I would have done that straight away. So I don't have to come back through it like this to make it nice and neat. Shift enter. Now the good news when you number like this is if you delete something. So if I delete, um, let's delete this paragraph. So I'll delete this paragraph. What happens is everything underneath just recalculates. If I delete the whole of number two, all of this and down to that, that is going to say number two. And put the E on that, like so. And then I'm holding my shift key down, press and enter, press and enter again. I get another number, I type away, like so. So, as long as you use the auto numbered features in Word, create your own style if you need to, or just use the preset ones either in this list or in the other list, the multi level list, this list, whichever one you pick, use that or create your own. It's up to you. But that's what I want to talk about in this little video, just how you can use a numbered list, how you create your own style, and how multi-level lists work. So hopefully this little video has been of use. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you in the next one.